Hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to find complements of numbers first we are going to look at the binary number system and in this one we are going to see ones complement here we have the binary number and we are going to see how to find the ones complement of this one ones complement is basically we can do in two way one is we can just flip the numbers like there are only two possible numbers one or zero so if it one if we change this one into zero and if it's 0, we, cha we change this one into 1, and 1 into 0, 0 into 1. Okay, and here again that's 1, so this is going to be again 0. Or there, there's another method, you can subtract this one from 1, 1, 1, 1. Here you can see 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 0, that's equal to 1, the 1 minus 1, again 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0, it's going to be the 1's complement of this number. Now 2 find the two's complement there are another two ways one is one 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 but the last number is going to be two okay so when we increase like when we look at the two's complement or if we increase one complement we have to look, change the increase the last number by one number okay so here if we subtract we will get one minus one zero one minus zero one 1 minus 1 is 0 and 2 minus 1 1 okay so this is going to be the 2's complement there's another way like you can add 1 to the last number of this 1's complement that's also give you the same answer now let's look at this this uh, decimal fraction number and we are going to convert this one into 1's complement and also 2's complement now let's com let's uh, look at the 1's complement 1's complement as we discussed before we can just flip the sign or we can add like we can subtract from one flipping the sign is much easier right so we can do that one if we flip the sign instead of one we put zero if it's zero we put one if it's one we put zero if we put one we put zero and if we put if it's zero we put one and if it's one we will put zero and if it's one we will put zero and that's it right I said flip the sign I actually flip the numbers if it's 1 we flip into 0 if it's 0 we flip flip into 1 and that's how we change this one from ones like from this one to ones complement now to find the twos complement the easiest way is to add one digit to the last number of the ones complement like if it's 0 we change that one into 1 so here we have 0 1 0 0 1 point 0 instead of this 0 we are going to have 1 and here we added plus 1 here and that's how we find the 2's complement now here we have 7's complement and we are going to find the 7's complement of this one and also we are going to find the 8's complement now to find the 7's complement like you can see if it's 1's complement we are like we put 1 1 1 so if it's 7's complement we put 7 7 7 and we subtract the number 7 minus 5 that's going to be 2 7 minus 2 that's going to be 5 7 minus 1 that's going to be 6 so 6 5 2 is going to be the 7's complement so this is 7's complement and to find the 8's complement as we discussed before if we have if we increase one, one complement we just have to add 1 to the last number and that's going to give us 8's complement so 8's complement is going to be 653 okay so let's look at the 9's complement 9's complement same thing we put 999 nine, nine, and we subtract this number from 999 nine, nine. that's going to give us 9 minus 8 that's 1 9 minus 2 that's 8 actually 7 9 minus 1 8 so 8 71 and this is 9's complement to find the 10's complement we add 1 to the last digit in that way we will get 10's complement that's going to give us 872 okay so that's how we convert this one into nines complement tens complement now let's look at hexadecimal number system here first we are going to look at 15's complement 15's complement we put 15 15 15 and then we subtract 15 minus 1 that's going to give us 14 but in hexadecimal you have to know until 9 we have numbers after 9 we have a b c d e so let's write this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 instead of 10 we put a a b c d e f g right 
let's see 9 plus I'm not sure about the last number but let's look at this one okay 15 minus 1 14 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 is E right so 15 minus 1 is going to be E and 15 minus B B is basically 11 so 15 minus 11 that's going to give us 4 so here we're going to have 4 and then 15 minus A A is 10 so 15 minus 10 that's going to give us 5 for 5 4 E is going to be the 15th complement now to find the 16th complement plus 1 and E plus 1 E is this one plus 1 F so we are going to have 5 4 F and that's going to be the 16th complement I hope this helps. See you next time.